seems like Tom Hanks can't get enough of London and is so settled here he even stepped out on the red carpet with England's finest beverage, a cup of tea, for the world premiere of Saving Mr Banks. But one thing Tom can't get used to in this country is the weather. Cold here in Leicester Square. <laughs> you know you've made it when you've got a cup of tea. Not bad. Right? I have, a, I have a, a, a spoonful of sugar in it too, I believe. <laughs> Not satisfied with opening the London Film Festival with Captain Phillips, the legend closed it too. Yeah, what's that about? I don't know. I think there's, uh, I think there's, uh, the, the crooks are involved. Something evil went down. I think there should be an investigation immediately how this happened. Begin. And like Captain Phillips, Tom is once again playing a real-life person. This time, the legendary studio boss Walt Disney, in a story which shows the struggles he went through with author P.L. Travers, played by Emma Thompson, to get the now classic Mary Poppins onto the big screen. It's the first live-action movie that Disney has done proper, really, in, in, in 50 years. They've got behind something that's about the boss, uh, and a boss that's been so iconic and protected for so many years that it's very brave of them, actually, and very exciting. Despite the fact that Disney are behind the film, Tom says that unlike the movie, there wasn't any attempt by the studio to try and alter the production or his performance. Stop! Mary Poppins is not for sale. I won't have her turned into one of your silly cartoons. Says the woman who sent a flying nanny with a talking umbrella to save the children. So there is a substantial amount of the man that we tried to get into with these little fragments of it. And I, I think it, it's not just the, the, the happy Uncle Walt that made people's dream come true. There was a pragmatic, rather, you know, bare-knuckled businessman in there who uh, did, uh, if charm didn't work and uh, hard sell negotiation didn't work either, well, then there was just some other place he had to go in order to make it happen. The theme of saving seems to be pretty familiar now in a lot of Tom Hanks films. Well, saving Private Ryan at least. So what's he going to save next? I think that's about it. I'm going to try to save uh, some stamps. Uh, I'm going to kind of, I'll save, uh, what else can I save? I'll save little animals and, uh, and I'll, um, I'll save, my, save my penny, save my pounds. I know what he's going to do to her. She'll be cavorting and twinkling. You can't make the film unless you grant the rights. Damn.